What's good guys, welcome to this video and as you can see from the title of this video, today we're going to talk about the five phases of semen retention. Little backstory, I've been on this journey for five years now and I've done quite a bit of five, six and even seven month streaks, plenty of monthly streaks or two week streaks. So I would say I have quite a bit of experience around this topic and I just always realize I go through these five phases when I hop on this journey. Before we're going to get into this video, if you do like this type of content, please subscribe. I would highly appreciate it. Like the video and uh, yeah. Let's hop into it. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have the five phases right here. Five phases are the recovery phase, the balance phase, the power up phase, the effortless phase, and the ascension phase. We're gonna get straight into it. So, guess what? You just busted a nut, you just ejaculated, you spilled some of your seed. So, what's gonna happen is that your brain is gonna tell you that you've just completed your mission. Good job, brother, you just made a child. The only problem is that the majority of times you don't make a child or you neither even do it with a woman but you do it in front of your laptop. So as you can see, there's a bit of a problem there because when you tell your brain you've just completed your biological mission, you literally tell yourself, I don't need to do anything anymore. So guess what's gonna happen? Your vitality will go down because your semen takes a lot, a tremendous amount of energy for your body to create. Because guess what your priority is for your body? It's to create semen. Because that's the whole purpose of a male body, is to reproduce, is to spread your seed around with as many women as possible. I'm not saying that's something you should do, but that's definitely what your body is designed to do. So your body at this point is very low in vitality because guess what? It's recovering, right? It's taking up all the nutrients and all the energy and also a lot of blood in order to create new semen. So next to that, what's going to happen is you're going to feel more anxiety. I think anyone here that is watching this video can relate that when you bust a nut, when you go out, do anything the next day, you're probably gonna feel very anxious. This is just a byproduct, guys, because you are currently not in a state of socialization. You're in a state of rest. You've taught your brain you completely your mission, and your vitality is low, your energy is low, and you're carrying pretty much no essence, no vitality within yourself. So overall, a byproduct of that is that you are going to feel lower value. You're gonna feel as if you have less value. And I know that's pretty crazy, but on a subconscious level, this is really what starts to happen. So next to that, you're gonna have no drive, you're gonna have no motivation, and it's very hard to be disciplined, because once again, your body is recovering. It does not have the energy right now to go after goals. This is not the phase to go after goals, to get anything done in the world, right? To achieve a goal you've set for yourself. Maybe you really want to achieve a goal, but if you continue to do this, you're telling your body to do the exact opposite because you've just completed your mission, bro. You've just done what you need to do. You are about to rest, bro. You need to rest, your body's saying. You are recovering, brother. No need for any goals right now, so you're not gonna have any drive and motivation to do anything. Next to that, you're gonna have brain fog. You're gonna have no direction as well. It's just a byproduct of ejaculating, guys. Brain fog is a common one. You just don't really wanna do much. You become way more attracted to low-level behavior. Like, you just feel like, yeah, let's just watch Netflix or scroll on social media. So just imagine for a second, just realize this, guys. The majority of men during their whole lifetime are in this phase. They are in the phase of recovery because it takes about four days to fully recover and to reach the state of balance and homeostasis. So just imagine that for a bit, guys. That's one of the main reasons the majority of men struggle so much to just get up in the morning and do things and just continue to push forward in life, right? So as we hold on and we realize, shit, I, maybe I should hold on a little bit, right? Because I think this stuff is not really working out for me. If I continue to bust them out every day, it's probably not great. So we continue to go to the new phase, which is the balance phase. This is the phase where our body is going to go into homeostasis. And this is just a fancy word for saying that your body is balanced, your body is recovered, everything is back to normal. So you're going to feel normal, right? Nothing crazy, but you will definitely notice that right now you do have a bit more energy and a bit more drive, right? There's more energy over. There's more energy left now to do other things. You start to feel a bit more energized. You just start to feel a bit better. Nothing magical is happening yet. You don't feel like on top of the world. But you start to feel you're like, yeah, I'm all right. I feel all right, man. So if you continue, guys, to hold on to this, this is going to be a very difficult phase with a lot of urges because guess what? Without a doubt, you're going to feel as if you want to have a little fap during this time, especially right now. But you have not built up the mental strength yet to overcome these urges. So you just need to overcome one and then need to overcome the other one. But we see, and I see it all the time, the majority of men relapse right here. Right, day five to day nine. But if we continue to hold on to this stuff and we make it all the way to day 10, and this is the power up phase, 
This is where some crazy stuff starts to happen, right? So at this point, we are carrying quite a bit of energy within us and we start to feel it. We start to feel very energized. You start to wake up in the morning and just jump out of bed because you need to get rid of this energy, right? You're a bit like, you become a bit like a bit of a ruthless little monkey, right? You're not yet really able to handle this energy properly because you are not familiar with this, right? So you're new to this energy, it's, it's quite a lot, right? So what's gonna happen is your energy will continue to go up. This is also the point where you start to feel very confident, you start to feel like, hey, I'm a bit of the G right now. I'm, I'm a G, I'm feeling like a proper G. <laughs> this is also the phase where you start to become more magnetic. People start to notice the energy you're carrying. People start to notice, what is this guy up to? How does he have all this energy? Why does he have so much drive? Why is he just, wow, what, like, what the hell is going on here? Because this is also a phase that the majority of men never even tap into. It's day 10. The majority of men don't even make it to day 10 because the majority of men are not even aware of this practice. Also, your voice will become a lot deeper. And I would say that this is a byproduct first that your testosterone is increasing because in the first two weeks of semen retention your testosterone is going to increase. This has been scientifically proven. So a combination of testosterone and a decrease in, where is it, anxiety, this will result in a lower voice. You're calmer and you just feel relaxed, you feel chill, you still feel very energized and pumped up obviously, but overall your voice starts to become a whole lot lower, you start to feel a bit more dominant as well and this is really where your masculine energy starts to increase and you really start to get more real masculine behaviors, right? Like the hyper-masculine man. You kind of become that if you don't really have an off switch, right? This tends to happen to me because this is a really ruthless phase and I've done some pretty ruthless things when I get into this power-up phase because there's so much energy within myself that sometimes I wasn't able to handle it. So I also put this here, guys, it's bright. And I want to talk about this right now is that during this phase, it's very easy to become prideful and to feel as if you are the absolute G. And the reason I'm saying this is because it used to happen to me again and again and again. Because right now you are carrying more energy and more vitality within yourself than 99.999% of men. And you can feel that on a subconscious basis because when you walk around in life, you're like, man, a lot of men are weak. What's going on? And you start to feel better because you're on this journey, you have all this energy and you start to just feel a bit cocky. You know, it can become a bit cockiness and pridefulness, but you need to understand that you are no better because you are on this journey. So it's very important to practice humility at this point, right? To uh, stay humble and not become too prideful. So what's going to happen as well is that you will start to see women as humans, right? This is a slow transition. This doesn't just happen in one go, but this is where the transition starts to happen. You no longer really see the next ejaculation that happens when you are in these lower states. When you are in these lower states, you just look at women and you're like, hmm, I want you because I want this 10 second pleasure. But this no longer happens. Now you're actually able to see women as humans and you judge them as humans and you are no longer afraid just because she's very pretty you're, you're able to just look straight through it, right? You're able to just look at the woman, you're like, wow, she's pretty, but are you actually cool? Are you a cool, cool human? Because if you're not, I, I honestly do not care. But when you're in this state, you kind of do. And you're probably a bit afraid to talk to her as well because you just feel low value. You have very little vitality within yourself. Next to that, it becomes a lot easier to authentically express yourself. This is also something that will increase over time. The longer we stay on this journey, the easier it becomes to truly express ourselves authentically. But this is where it really starts to come out as well. We just feel more authentic. We are a bit more comfortable showing our real sides, right? The, the dorky sides or the sides that back in the day we didn't really show to people or to the outer world. Now we are just a lot more comfortable in our own skin. By the way guys, as you can see, there's a 14 here and the reason I put day 14 there, it means day 14 by the way, is because this is the flipping point. If you make it past day 14, it becomes a lot easier because at this point you have had to overcome a lot of urges. You become a lot mentally stronger, so it becomes a lot easier to continue to be on the street because if you've always been here, you're probably looking at 90 days plus now and you're like, how in the flipping hell is that even possible for anyone to do? How can you do that? The reason you can do that is because over time you become a stronger individual and you will start to develop a willpower, discipline and mental control you never even thought was possible. We'll get into that guys, but you need to understand that if you make it past day 14, 
things are going to get a lot easier and a lot better as well. This is the effortless phase. So in the effortless phase, you start to really now feel an easeful power, an easeful presence within yourself. Because at this point, you have so much vitality, so much of this energy rushing through your body, while at the same time having a lot more control over it. Back here, day 10 to 30, you tend to feel very ruthless and very... It's too much. It's like, I can't handle this energy. It's like, you become a bit tense and everything. But at this point, you really start to understand that you can handle this energy because you just get very familiar with it. So you feel an useful power. Also, because you literally have been able to overcome so many urges at this point. This is really where you start to change as a person, as a man, right? Also, your social anxiety starts to decrease more and more and more. And honestly, at a point, you're like, what even is social anxiety? How, like, why are people anxious? Is that even a thing? These are just human beings. You can truly just see that everyone is a human. And you're no longer afraid of like talking to anyone, no matter if they're quote unquote high status, low status, you don't care. You can just tell they're a human being. You just truly don't care, bro. Beautiful thing right here is that you feel a lot more peace and contentment because you are no longer in these lower vibrations right here. You get a lot more joy out of just drinking a cup of coffee, reading a good book, walking in nature, and you will start to feel a lot more inner peace and a lot more inner silence within your own mind. When you hold on to your essence, when you hold on to your value, you can even call this currency, guys. When you hold on to your currency, guess what's going to happen? If you have more currency, what do you feel? You feel and start to see your own value as a man and you see your own value in a way you never were able to see before. And a big problem we have these days is that the majority of men don't see their own value anymore. They don't see the value anymore of the thing that is between their legs and are just willing to waste it away again and again and again. Next to that, you start to feel a deeper connection to God. Whatever God means to you, we all have a different idea, a different feeling, a different relationship to God. But whatever that means to you, you will really start to feel very connected, right? You no longer feel as if you are just this individual in the world that has to make it on himself. You start to trust. You start to have a lot more faith. You start to really feel as if there's someone with you on this journey and you're even one with this, right? You just feel very connected and very safe and just very good overall. It's a beautiful thing to feel a true connection to God. So right now, guys, at this point, we made it to 90 days plus. And at this point, you will look back on this fella right here that was doing this on a day-to-day -day basis and you will not recognize him anymore. What's going to happen is your old self will die. You will start to feel as if you are truly a new man. You are becoming a new man and you look back at your old self. That was always a shame, that was insecure, that had social anxiety, that had all these issues and all these problems, no drive, no confidence whatsoever. And you're like, who is this guy? I don't even know him. And the same thing happened to me, guys. I bust my hair off and I've had it busted for quite a while now. And this has to do with a new identity. I had long, pretty boy hair, right? This pretty boy version of me was a lot more insecure and wasn't really able to express himself and felt a lot more guilt and shame on a day-to-day -day basis. So I decided to just buzz it off because I wanted to get rid of the old self. So what's gonna happen next, guys, is that you become very likely to experience a spiritual awakening if this is anything you're pursuing. What I mean with that is that you're just way more likely to experience mystical experiences, that you start to realize new things about reality, about yourself, about the world. You just have no any prior awareness of back in the day. And the reason this is happening is because you have to raise your vibration, your energetic vibration. So what's gonna happen, the higher your vibration, the more information and the more energy you're able to pick up on. So next to that, you will really start to attain a level of self-mastery that back in the day, you just did not have. Because at this point, guys, this is three months, almost three months by now, you had to overcome a lot of urges. But the beauty about it is that you will still have the urges, but now it becomes so easy, not because there are no more urges, but because you are a stronger individual. And now because you are literally able to be in control of your sexual energy, it becomes a lot easier to be in control of your whole life. It becomes a lot easier to get rid of different addictions as well. Maybe you have an alcohol problem, maybe you smoke a lot, maybe you do things you shouldn't be doing, but you still do it, right? It becomes a lot easier to just get rid of it because you no longer want to do anything to do with it. And now you have the confidence, now you have the power within yourself to literally get rid of those bad habits as well. So it's a byproduct of semen retention, guys. If you want to get rid of bad habits, make it far into this journey and you will see how easy it is to literally get rid of all those things. I no longer drink, I no longer fab, I no longer smoke, I no longer smoke weed, I no longer do drugs. I used to do all those things. 
And last but not least, your purpose gets revealed. Now it's not like, here it is, here's your purpose. This is what you do. But you will start to become very aware of the breadcrumbs you need to follow, right? Because your purpose is like following a breadcrumb trail. It's like this little thing you know you should do, but it makes no rational sense in your mind, but you follow it anyway. You start to become very clear of what you need to do next to really reach your highest potential. So it's very hard to feel no direction and brain fog that happens in these lower phases here, right? The five phases, once again, consist out of recovery, then you enter a state of balance, then you power up, then it gets effortless, and then the more spiritual phase, longest tricks, ascension, right? Your old self starts to die, more spiritual experiences, and man, you truly vibrate at a higher level, which just makes life a lot more effortless and easy and enjoyable. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this type of content, like the video, I would highly appreciate it. Guys, if you do want to have some tips on this journey, on how you can make it this far, or you want to build your dream body, you want to get rid of your bad habits, or anything else relating to these types of topics, feel free to schedule in a free call with me in the description, guys. I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Truly really appreciate you guys. Peace out. Catch you later.